Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and today I'm going to create a Mixie Me. This is a 3D customizable figurine. It's available from mixielabs.com, and this was brought to my attention by the fact that Amazon in the US, so Amazon.com, announced a 3D product page or product service where you could actually order this very figurine but it's not available on the UK site you need to go to the mixylabs.com website to order it for the UK and apart from the Mixi Me, just very briefly there are other items here that you can customize and order but for this video I'm going to create a Mixi Me. so let's go on to the customization page and this is really cool we can scroll down it just gives a little bit of detail about the two to three inch tall figurine and some sort of gallery images as well which we can flick through and see what they look like so very cool let's go back up to the uh, customization tabs here so the first thing we can do is select a sort of head shape well my head is definitely this shape so we're going to go with the more elongated shape and then we've got eyes so we can select between all of these eyes now you can't mix and match so you can't for example pick these eyes and then put glasses on if you wear glasses you've got to select the glasses here and there are only two so I'm going to go with this rounder one we can also change the color now my skin color is very pale but not that pale so we're going to go with the lightest tone we could go far out and create an orange one but I'm going to go with normal colored skin color and then hopefully when we come to the clothes we can add some orange clothes on so back to eyes which we've already selected and then we've got mouths so we can select different types of mouths now I'm normally smiling so that's a good mouth how about that one hmm maybe not how about this one that's quite cool I like that one we've got lots of different ones here I have got a stubble is there any stubbles not really just full-on beards so we'll go with that for now and then oh we can actually upload face detail as well that is very interesting so you can actually uh, upload a PNG image file so if I've got one on my computer let's just have a look on another screen on my pictures and see if I've got one of me and see if this works this might not work and if it doesn't we will just go back to the normal customization options so we go back onto the customizer now I finished that let's come back across here and choose the file so we're going to go onto my desktop here's the PNG file that I just uh, customized and let's see let's see if this works it'd be very interesting if it does we've got on the left hand side here where we've got the uh, sort of overview of how this is going to look mmm this is quite interesting I can't get to those handles now to stretch it anymore but let's just stretch that out a little bit more that could work it, it sort of will be interesting if you can make this look as though it fits the face but I'm probably going to go back just to the normal customization functions because it just looks more fitting to the character but interesting nonetheless we we'll just give that one more tweak and just see I know a lot of you are gonna come onto the video and say oh you should have gone with the the photographic one so I could go with that but is it gonna look any good once it's printed or should we go with the cartoony type character I think for now I'm gonna remove that and go back to the the customization options we just go back to this I think this is better uh, we were gonna go with this mouth so we're back to square one here we go so let's go back to select some hair now my hair is sort of a dark brownish color like this but it's also going quite gray so I could go with the gray to future proof my model and I'm gonna go with this dark gray because my hair isn't light gray really or is it no let's go with that let's, let's be brave and select a hairstyle next so my son says I have got uh, it could be any brand of takeaway but I've got McDonald's hair because it looks like the McDonald's M so I'm gonna see if there's something oh my hair doesn't recede that much we go back to this one yeah I think we will go with that one so that's good and then we go on to the clothes so we can select clothes color or oh, we can select body type as well well I'm not podgy like that I'm not a girl and I don't wear long dresses so we're gonna go with this one 
So we will select a top. So we've got a normal top or this sort of top. Mm, that's quite good. Polo shirts. Don't really wear polo shirts. What's this? Oh, we can put little patterns on the shirts. Very cool. So I'm going to go with this one. And do I have a smiley face on there? No, not really. Let's just go with a plain top. We go with this one here. And then we can select color. And yes, there is orange there. So that's the obvious color that we're going to go with. We can put text on it. We can put front text. Amazing. So it's got to be done. I'm going to just put uh, geek on the front. And then on the back, I'm going to put geekanoids. Oh, we can't do it. Three, li three lines. No, we can't do that. So should we put geek on the back as well? Does that spoil it? Actually, let's just put geek on the back and we'll leave the front plane. I think that looks better. Update text. Yeah, we go with that. And then we've got custom as well. So we can even upload a shirt and have that printed. Very, very cool. So that's really good. I'm going to go with just a standard cartoony type options though for this. And then we've got pants. Well, I normally wear jeans that are a dark blue color. So we're going to go with that. And then for our shoes, we can not select a design, but just a shoe color. Well, my trainers are sort of orange and uh, sort of gray color. They're my Nike trainers. So we're going to go with that. So that is the completed uh, Mixy Me. Very, very interesting. If this one turns out well, I might order one and, and try and map those photos onto the design a little bit better and see what a, a sort of a printed design looks like with, uh, with the photographic images on. But for now, we're going to just add this one. Oh, we can left click to rotate. Ah, we can have a look around the back. Almost missed that, guys. Let's have a look around the back. Yeah, I like that. So geek on the back. Oh, we can move him around as well. Oh, there we go. Very cool. I love the configurator software. So enough of me talking. Let's add this to the cart and wait for it to be delivered and see how it turns out. And here I am, miniaturized. It is a little mini me and I absolutely love it. Now, obviously, this wasn't 3D printed by me. It was printed by the company in the video description. Please do check out the links. And you saw in the first part of this video how I customized this little 3D character. And it is absolutely fantastic. I love the quality and the detail. It's got a rough finish to it. Obviously, geeky glasses, a nice orange hoodie, orange shoes as well, and my little jeans. Around the back here, you can see the word geek, which is also put on during the customization stage. And I just think it looks brilliant. It is so, so good quality, and it really does show what's possible with 3D printing. I am really very, very impressed. If I can achieve something like this once I'm more experienced with 3D printing, I will be a very happy geek. It's a mini me. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.